right guys so it's my first day of the 2023 hunting season and it's my first time getting out uh, we got about 44 degrees so pretty warm uh, it's saturday uh, pretty excited so hunting has been on and off for me i started with my dad when i was 10 got a deer every single year up until I had to do hunter safety and then I just started working so much that I put it on the back burner and before you know it it went about 12 or 13 years without hunting um, and I've been back into it for the last I'd say five years uh, I actually haven't shot anything in the last two years in the three years before that I'm not going to tell you how much those three deer weighed but if you know me, you might know that answer. So, um, I try not to take anything small, um, but the last day of hunting season, I'm taking what's there to get some meat in the freezer. So, the last two years I've been without. This year, I have a dope permit. Um, they do the drawing thing, so depending on when you watch this, I don't think they'll continue this, but I can get two deer, one doe, and one buck. Never hunted this spot before, this is a new spot. And uh, I'm heading in a little early. I got a couple limbs I need to get out of my way. And uh, we'll see how today goes. But um, today's more about getting in there, getting the, the trees cut. I might do a mock scrape, kind of behind the ball on things this year. Wasn't sure if I was actually gonna hunt this year or not. We got a lot of stuff going on a lot of money in the ice fishing but luckily with hunting everything that I need I already own so not really much more money into it other than just licenses gas and stuff like that so uh, I'd like to get a buck this year got some cameras out seen a doe on there seen a bobcat and uh, we'll see where it goes from there but I'm pulling up right now and we'll head in and see what we can come up with hopefully we'll get some uh, some good footage, get a deer, get something worth you guys watching a video on. So, this is day one. Alright guys, it is day two. Uh, had to make a little decision today. Work or hunt? Work or hunt? So, uh, I'm not in work clothes. So, I do have to walk out about 8.30ish, maybe 9 o'clock. I got a doctor's appointment in Scow, Vegas at uh, noon. So, I gotta get out do a couple things before that. It's about 25 
nine degrees out right now, so nice and cold. Maybe we're making a little bit of ice. Who knows? Um, I gotta put up one camera. I did manage to get it working, kind of. Uh, I am rolling with these five point flex cameras. Um, they worked good for me last year, and I have one of them that's just won't get good signal, won't send pictures, and having issues this year. So I kind of went on. Google and YouTube to try to find uh, some issues that other people are having, try to find some fixes, and it seems like maybe I made the wrong decision in the cameras, and uh, maybe I should have bought something else, but let me know what you guys use, what you guys think if you have the Spy Point Flex. I know Paul and I are having nothing but issues with ours, so it is what it is, got to get through this season and then make a decision on what we do next year, but as for right now, in the woods. Bees in that. All right, so I'm heading back in for the evening sit. Um, forgot to get a video on my way out. I didn't see anything, didn't really hear anything after the blowing. Uh, I'm hoping you guys caught that on the camera. Um, got checked by a game warden on the way out, uh, so I talked with him for probably a good 20 minutes and then forgot to do a video. So he was pretty cool, just checking obviously licenses and uh, regardless of your feeling on the game wardens, most of them are out there trying to do the right thing. Um, making sure everyone is doing things correctly so we can keep having fun and fishing and hunting and, and everything's fair and everybody does it the right way. So he was cool, so I did talk to him for quite a while. Uh, I went to my appointment. I walked out of the tree stand about 9 o'clock. And unfortunately, a pretty decent sized doe walked in about 10.50. Um, actually, it was like 10.48-ish. And uh, I'll put that picture down for you guys. Uh, and then at about 10.52, uh, an unknown hunter walked uh, right behind that deer. So I'm assuming he caught up to that is what it is uh we'll see maybe he didn't even know that there was one in there and he jumped it off and it'll come back through that way tonight so we will check it out and hopefully we can come up with something uh, it's only day two pretty pretty early in the season still the leaves are very very crunchy and uh it's warmed up to 45 right now so we'll see how it goes if not i'm looking forward to the the rut and uh i got some time off during the rut so Hopefully we can get one acting stupid and chasing, uh, chasing some whitetail that it shouldn't be chasing and we can catch up with them. Alright, let's head in.
snow on the ground and how thick the woods are right here. I don't think I can ethically track something tonight anyway. I don't hear anything coming in, so I'm going to get out of the woods. Let the deer relax. I won't be able to hunt again until Saturday. Then I do have most of Thanksgiving week off. I was happy to see something on the camera today. I don't know if that other guy shot it or not. toward the trail it came in at. And then I got about a 20, 25 minute walk out of here, so.